Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. Today we'll round up all the Rainbow 6 News over the last week or so. And the first we'll get into is the confirmation of some of the features coming with Year 7 Season 4. This is from the quarter results that Ubisoft put out just a couple of days ago. And they say, looking ahead, we have exciting new content planned for Year 7 Season 4, highlighted by the rollout of highly requested crossplay and cross-progression. Along with, of course, the new map that we know we're getting to. Now, all of this is not news. We knew it was all in the roadmap, but of course we were all like, is it really going to arrive? Are we really getting cross-play? Are we really getting cross-progression? Are they going to delay another season or stuff like that? But no, it is apparently coming. This is the thing they decided to highlight in the quarterly report, and that means it's probably a sure thing. Then in-game, you've still got the Doctor's Curse. I'll be here for just one more week, so if you want to play it more, do that right now. But we got a surprise appearance of Containment packs but not the event they were originally attached to which was one for promoting rainbow six extraction and it was a good event it was a pvp event based on the extraction kind of thing and it was a lot of fun i enjoyed it when it was last out but then we got the packs back this week which has never happened before we've never had the packs without the event so kind of weird but it seemed to be a cross promotion with extraction by its new content coming out and if you want one of these free packs Log in this week and you'll have one in your inventory. And of course, the rest of them you got to pay for. And when it comes to packs, I always recommend not doing that. And when it comes to Rainbow Six Extraction, they are still doing an impressive job. So they've released their latest content drop, but they also released their latest cosmetics, which are just out there. And they even brought in some Halloween cosmetics as well. But their new event seems to be pretty good. Still doesn't have a new map, which I think is the thing that is missing. But it'll be a it's one year anniversary on the next season, which is in about February. So that could be the one where they actually bring in a new map and really hit it. But the new event, I enjoyed it, completed it. Wasn't the hardest like they said it was. I'm sure the last one was actually a little bit more difficult, but it was a lot of fun. And then for Siege, we had a hot fix for all platforms to fix some of the crashing issues from what they posted. It doesn't sound like this is a fix for all of the crashing issues, but a big chunk of them. So we'll see if that makes your game run better. And then we had an announcement about the Six Invitational. It is going back to Canada with an audience. It's going to be from February 7th to the 19th. So that'll, of course, be when the next season gets showed off. And that'll be the first season of Year 8. But anyway, let's talk about the last season of Year 7. So I've actually got a video going over all the stuff we're supposed to begin. We'll see how much actually makes it, if there's any delays, if there's any surprises. But I've got a video going over everything we know so far. And... It should be getting shown off in just a couple of weeks and probably launching very early December. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.